Okay, so you've got five basic parts of your goose call. You've got your insert, your barrel, your reed, the wedge, and your soundboard. So I start, when I tune a call, I get asked all the time, well, how do you tune a goose call? I didn't even know you could tune a goose call. So I start with when you find when you get your reed, there's a skinny end and a fat end. When you hold it up, you'll actually notice that there is a skinny end and a fat end. Slightly different, but still different. So when you grab that reed, the first thing is to find out which way it's going to want to bend. So I put it in my fingers like this and literally just pinch it naturally. Don't try and force it to pinch, just pinch it. And it'll bend one way all the time. I've really got to come over top of it and force it to bend the other way. So you take that bend and your soundboard, you pinch it to get that bend, and that bend lays down. And that skinny end of your reed is the one that you put towards the top of the soundboard. So what I like to do is I'll get the bend right, and I'll put that reed so that it just falls down in there. Just falls in. Without touching it, you'll feel it. It'll click. It'll hit if it's not in there right. So I get it pretty close, and I'll pinch it. And I'll take the soundboard and the wedge, and I'll take the wedge, and you'll see on that set of guts where there's a slope that starts in the guts. And when you pinch the reed like that, it forces it up. And when you see that separation start is where I'll take the wedge and lay it on there. And that's going to put you close to sounding like a goose pretty much every time. So I'll start it there and, and, then, and then move on. So basically a rule of thumb that I tell people all the time, the more reed you see, the harder it's going to be to blow. It's going to take more air to pick that reed up and lay it back down to get a honk or a cluck. So the more reed, the more air, essentially. So I'll start there to see kind of how it fits. And I literally just pinch everything together to keep it as close to being where I had it as possible and slide it in. And when I get it where it's holding itself, I'll put my thumb on that reed again and check it to be close. I'll check it to be close and pinch it and literally pinch everything together and at the same time tighten it up in that goose call. So I'll check it again to make sure it's not clicking or hitting and then I'll go from there. So I'm just going to blow that for a sec to see where it sits. It should be pretty close to a goose. <laughs> So it does sound like a goose. So if I were to have blown that and it was too stiff and I had too much reed showing, what I do to fix that, instead of taking that call apart and starting right from scratch again, because it's too stiff, all I need to do is shorten up the amount of reed that I have. So I'll spin it around and I'll push the reed in to get it inside of that tone, that sound channel so it kind of holds itself. And I'll pinch it in there and take the barrel or your call and I'll tap it. And with every little tap, I can feel it just barely moving down in there. So it's shortening up the amount of reed. It doesn't take anything. A fingernail width can change the world on the sounds. So I'll give it a couple taps and just slowly work my way in there. It made it a little bit louder, a little bit easier to blow. The easier to blow the call you have, the higher pitch it's going to be. So again, I'll pinch that in there. And I'll tap it again if I need it lighter. Now that's going to end up being a pretty high pitched call and not take a lot of air to roll over. Again, you can just work your way down that as you need to. But I always like to leave more reed showing to start because it's easier to tap it down in than it is to take it back apart and get yourself more reed. And that is the long and short of tuning a goose call. You have to play with it. If you play with it, it's you're just going to get comfortable with how the call works and how it goes together and where everything needs to be. That's part of the learning process.